Hey everybody, Bo here. Hey, in this video, I am gonna show you how to make an easy, do-it-yourself, flip-up space saver, bench, bed, or even table. So, stay tuned. All right, well, here is our very cozy flip-down bench. And when you flip it up, it opens up the whole floor or exposes what I have stored underneath it for right now. But this is an extremely easy do-it-yourself project. Now you could easily do the same thing with a bed, making it a little bit longer, a little bit wider. Um, this is 19 inches off the ground, which is pretty much standard um, seat height. And uh, again, it's very cozy. Now you could also do a table, um, which would have to be a little bit higher and you'd have to do it a little bit different. And I'll go into that uh, when we get going here. So I did this project just using some uh, heavy duty three quarter inch uh, plywood and just uh, wood screws, some hinges, and some other hardware I will share with you. So this is what the bench looks like in the up position. Now, I did this with an added bonus because I wanted to do a double purpose in the up position. So this is a flip up table. So we use it when we're cooking sometimes. And then when we uh, put it down, when we put up the other table, so we have more room around the big table. But this was extremely easy to make. And so this flip up table on the flip down bench actually becomes the legs. So let me, now I have these little locks here. So then you flip it down and there you have it. Now you could do the same thing with the bed, just make the legs board a little bit longer, or you could put individual legs. And I have some really good hardware that I'm gonna put down in the links below that will flip up and down with locks on them to keep everything in place. So with the three quarter inch plywood, uh, I used it for everything. So, let me flip that up and I'm gonna flip this back down so just to show you how easy this is is I cut the, the three-quarter inch plywood into little pieces one on each side and I screwed that into the wall to give me something to put the hinges on so I attached that to the actual board um, and then to make it flush against the wall, I cut another little piece to put the locks on. Now on this side, I could have put another one, but I had one of these, so I just put that on there too to lock it into place. So as you can see, just a little square of uh, three quarter inch plywood to attach to the wall. Then attach that to the bottom of your bench or bed or even table. And uh, if you want a little more support, you could put one in the middle. Now I was planning on doing that, but then this was so sturdy that I decided, well, it really doesn't even need it. Now for the legs again I'm using this flip up and here is the hardware and I recommend the stainless steel ones that are a little bit sturdier but these aren't bad these are I think 150 pounds I wasn't planning on putting any more weight than that on here anyway and uh so that's what I use to lock the leg in place. So these actually lock, and when it's down, you know, it's sitting on carpet. So 
it doesn't move at all. I've never had a problem with anything because it's kind of a square, you know, and uh, so it's extremely sturdy. Now, if you were to do a table, you would have to go a little bit higher, and of course, it would be a little bit larger, um, so it would probably go up higher. Now, we're in Rolling Thunder, our cabin on wheels, so the height on this is, uh, you know, 6'3", but if you're in a house, you have a lot more room. So you could do this in a house, you could do it in a camper, you could do it in your garage. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me for flip up tables. So what I would do for the flip up table, you would have to find your height, your table height, and then mount everything at that height. And then you would have to get your legs. So let's say it would be up higher. Your legs would have to, uh, you would have to make sure that the table is at least uh, as wide as your legs are going to be to support it. So if I was going to do a table, I would probably just do two flip down legs, one on each corner here, and then they would just flip down. So when you flip it up, your legs would flip down and then uh, you have all that space. I hope I'm making sense. I'm trying to keep it simple and just show you, um, you know, just how easy that is. Now here on the bed, I have it so that this flips up. I have a little pull handle and then I have legs that I just put out like that. So, with that, I am using these stainless steel ones. Now, I may change these out to the normal um, ones that are used for actual legs. I didn't know they existed until after I started doing this project. And they are really nice. They're inexpensive. But this has worked out really good. I mean, we we really love the bed now because it is full size. And again, we flip it down and it even works with this table. I can have the bench down at the same time. Well, anyway, there you have it. Hope that gives you some ideas. You know, I'm not giving you specific sizes or anything, but you know, this was uh, 19 inches off the floor, pretty much 20 inches wide. And uh, I made it just long enough so that the bed would be able to flip up, but you could make it longer, you could make it wider. And uh, you know, I would make it wider and longer for a bed, of course. And again, for a table, you would have to bring it up and then it would flip up and flip down. And then you could use these kind of legs on it with the different hardware. And again, I'm going to put that in the description below. Now on this, I put a little pull thing, so that worked out really well. Well, there it is. There's your view. Very simple, very easy. And again, it's so easy. I don't think I have to give you more than that. I mean, it's pretty much using the same three and a quarter plywood to make it flush. So you'll see that it fits right in between. So it makes it flush against the wall. The hinges are there. Sorry, I have my porta potty under there. The heater is right there. And again, one on the other side. And uh, you could put one of these on the other side or just put it in the middle. 
So I didn't want to put it in the middle because I was afraid uh, you might hit your head on it or something. But but this thing has been fantastic as a as a bench. We just absolutely love it. And again, there you go. Flip up, flip down. So it is a big space saver. So hope you can use your imagination a little bit on that. Hope I gave you a little guidance so you know how to keep it flush against the wall using those little pieces of extra plywood for your hinges and your locks. And then your legs, you can use those flip up hinges or, or uh, hardware. And there it is. Very simple. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you get something out of it. Hope you get some great ideas. And I hope you make a fantastic project. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you watching this. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And again, I will put all the hardware in the description. This is Bo. Till next time. See ya.